So in DaVinci Resolve 17, when you're done editing your project, you can go over to the cut page and there is a new option in the top right hand corner called Quick Export. When you click on Quick Export, you'll be given this dialog where you'll have four options. The first of which H.264 when you want to export a video directly to your computer and three other options, YouTube, Vimeo and Twitter, which allow you to upload your videos directly to those sites as soon as your video is done exporting. So when you look below, you should see the settings that match your timeline for your project, including the resolution and the frame rate for your video. So now the only thing we need to do is hit the export button over here and give it a file name and location on our computer. So I can give it the file name test video and it's going to export as a dot move video file. So now that that exports complete, we can double click on the video file and then see it play back for us. Now the other option that we didn't touch on the ability to export to YouTube, Vimeo, or Twitter. So when you click on these, if you haven't logged in to those services inside of DaVinci Resolve, you'll be given the option to hit manage account and to log into those services with your username, password, and if active, two-factor authentication. So if we hit manage account there, it brings us to the internet accounts dialog window. But by the way, the other way to get to that same thing is to go to DaVinci Resolve and then preferences and then internet accounts. So we can hit sign in here. So if you've authenticated with those services, then you'll be able to choose to publish to those services directly after your video is done exporting and you won't have to manually upload it later. However, when it comes to uploading videos on sites like YouTube, I choose not to do it this way because it doesn't give you access to all of the settings that you may want to edit before publishing a video. So personally, as things are right now, I still prefer to upload videos in the browser. And if that's the case, you would just do a quick export in H.264 mode, get the file on your computer and upload it to the internet normally. And so that's pretty much everything you need to know about the quick export feature that is in DaVinci Resolve 17. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.